Hey everyone, my name is June and I want to make a quick video to show how you can wrap a base mesh with good topology onto your sculpt using Houdini. You can, you can grab Houdini for free with the apprentice license that you can use to learn the software if you want to follow along. So you just go do that, uh, you know, go to the side effects and then what I like to do is using um, the uh, Houdini launcher to download and to manage the license so yeah so let's get started first you need to import both your sculpt and the base mesh or uh, the source the template you know with good clean topology into Houdini so how, the way you do that is you can move your cursor to this uh, small window right here and you press tab and then you type a uh, file right so this is the file node. This is on the object level. Well, well uh, the operation that we're going to do is inside this node. If you double click it, you'll go inside. But uh, before that, um, let's rename this first, right? Let's just call it operation. Now inside operation, um, you can press tab again and then, you know, uh, search the node file so if you click on the, this node you uh, the, the parameter right here will appear and what you want to do is you go to this geometry file browse here and then you can find your files here uh, so let's import the uh, the scope and this is the scope and we can rename this to this name this a target because you want to uh, wrap the clean topology mesh onto the uh, the scope so the scope is the target right so where is the target if you press if you move your cursor here in the viewport you can actually press shift and H and that will bring you to view um, the object in your viewport right so let's bring in the clean topology um, by using the file node again or you can use uh, the template that Houdini provides with which uh, if I'm not mistaken uh, yeah you can use this template head if you don't have a clean topology at hand right so you can use this but what I want to do is bring in the clean topology that I already have right here and let's call it source so if we press this blue eye button we can see that we have important uh, we have imported the uh, mesh the clean mesh so now <clears throat> uh, that both files are in we can press tab again and type a uh, topo transfer right we place it here now if you can find this uh, node you are most likely on the object level if you're on the object level and you try to find the node topo you can't find it because you're in the object level so make sure you double click double click this one and then you're in the geo level or in this case it I've renamed it to operation right now you can find the node so this node requires target mesh and template mesh and the template is this the source so let's hook up the target to target and the source to the, the uh, template mesh right and then if you click this nothing happens because you need to press enter if you go to the viewport and you press enter you're gonna see that there is a new you know mesh with blue bluish uh, turquoise um, color and this is actually where you want to operate with double transfer this is where you place the landmarks right so if you press G you're gonna be able to see press G and G again right so uh, now we need to place the the landmarks just 
like what you do in Z Wrap or you know our 3ds Wrap. so let's do that Okay, now that we've done that, we can actually try and see what we get by pressing this button right here that says solve. So let's do that. So you can see it down here that we should wait. So yeah, let's wait. Okay, let's see what we got. And there is a mistake. And don't worry because you don't have to delete this and restart everything from scratch because i'll show you how we can fix this so let's say you want to fix this part right <clears throat> what you want to do is make sure you press this turbo transfer again and just go back to uh, placing on the landmarks again Okay, now everything's in place, we can solve it again, but I want to mention that you can actually increase the iteration of the solver right here. If you increase this to, I don't know, probably let's do a 30 for example. It wouldn't make much difference in my experience, but it will actually increase the time that it takes. But yeah, I don't know. Let's just try 30 right there and click solve. Okay, now let's see what we get. This is not bad, but we can do <coughs> you can do more cleanup in ZBrush actually. That's what I like to do. Just do the cleanup in ZBrush. This is just to get everything as close as possible to the model the sculpt the nose is pretty good um, there's some some place that needs work but they're not too bad we can always do clean up in zebras this is good this is pretty this is doable for example this Yeah, if you want, you can add more uh, landmarks. <coughs> uh, but yeah, um, that's it. You can also isolate some parts. Actually, you can add, uh, do if you want to do, for example, just the eye right here. So you can press. Um, wait, um, this button. And then if you can use the uh, the brush right here, brush select, and you can make a selection which part of the uh, the mesh that you want to morph, that you want to uh, transfer the uh, details of, you know, where you want. The, if you only want the eyes, then maybe you can just do this. And it would be just the eyes that that's gonna be calculated right here but that's not what I'm want to do so let's say you're finished with this right if you press W you can see 
the wireframe of the, uh, the mesh that you've created, you've transferred, right? And then let's say you want to export this. How do you do that? Okay, so right click on this node, go to save and geometry. Um, go here and what you want to do is we I want to export as obj but you can export it as however you want obj and just rename it right um let's do output for example let's go here and accept yeah so that's it usually what i will do next is to do some cleanup in zbrush and project the details there but yeah, that's Topo Transfer in Houdini. Now, obviously, if you already have ZWrap, then you can always stick to using that. But for some of us who don't have ZWrap, this is the solution. One, one solution. For me personally, I like using a few as few softwares as possible. So instead of subscribing to this or that software, on top of the ones that I am already I'm already using, I like to keep it minimal. And Houdini allows me to do that with how powerful this uh, software is. I'm currently working on more Houdini tutorials, specifically hair grooming and look dev, rendering and shading using Material X and all that jazz. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. There is uh, one more part left for the judge series and hopefully i'll have that video up next week so yeah i hope that helps thanks for watching